Welcome to the seventh episode of the Let's Build series in which I plan to build a whole quarter with you guys. Now, in the previous episodes what we did was to build these three houses and start the frames for the fourth house. And we created a little market stall in front of it. And for this episode I'm planning to finish this house off here and then move on to the next house, which we planned, or basically I planned with a kind of courtyard area in the back. Now, for the walls of this building, uh, for the first floor, that was the part that we already did, um, I decided to go with stone bricks again, and for these walls up here, well, first of all, I need to complete the frames for this here. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of material I want to use for it. Um, let's let's take a look again. So we have a building with wool, with uh, cobblestone, and with clay. Um, so I would say we go with uh, the fourth. Yeah, let's let's go with a fourth kind of uh, material combination that I use for these buildings, which is clay and light gray wool. They these textures uh, like here uh, the textures of them are very similar It's just a little bit that this is bright or a little bit well bluish more bluish and Therefore I think it makes of a nice combination to have a randomized um, Wall, but still uh, You can't really tell from afar that it's two different kinds of materials But the closer you get the more you kind of get an impression of this structure. So that's what I want to go for for this building here. First of all, let's continue um, finishing the frames for... and I think, yeah, I want to have two different rooms here at the bottom floor. And now let's just prepare the f um, the, the cross beams for the uh, for the floor itself. Should probably be something like this and then the last floor up here, it's gonna have those two here, uh, how many blocks are these? Four, so one, two, three, four, now nah, okay, then let's just do it like this. Okay, this should be enough for that, so uh, let's move on, let's move on to the walls. So we need light grey wool and clay, there we go, and I'm going to use light grey wool as the main material of the wall. And then um, uh, for the randomization, of course, I'm going to use clay. Um, of course, you can do it the other way around. Um, just do it the way you prefer it if you, uh, well, try to build a similar building. Um, it's always important to decide whether or which material should be the main material of the wall and which is the complementary like, material that you use for the randomization. Um, can have, uh, can have different effects on the wall and the looks of it. Um, I would always go for the for the wool as main material and clay for the randomization, in my opinion. That's what I would do. So, uh, yeah. What would Madness do? 2015. Okay, so uh, let's just, whatever, do it like this. And a little bit of randomization here. Should be enough, and then maybe like this should be okay. Okay, th this it, as always, as always with this style, um, this side is not too important, so we're we're just gonna do it the way we please, uh, because it's once again going to be the side that something is gonna be leaned up against from the other side, from the next building, and no, this looks weird. Um, and therefore it's not really important for this side of the wall, for this one here. Um, so let's just go out and finish it. I, w I wanted to have a window here, but maybe maybe one here. Doesn't make too much sense to have it down here, because it would be covered by the roof. Um, okay, should be enough. Just gonna put up a torch in case it is getting too dark in here for you. Okay, and this row up here, this is going to be, once again, stone bricks. And, of course, the randomization material, which is smooth stone. And there we go 
for part one, and then a little bit of randomization one here. Um, oops, one here, and then a little bit of cracked stone brick in front of here to have it randomized. All right. Um, yeah, this is one thing I have to worry about now. This tower extension here, it would be actually kind of nice to have this um, to to not use wool for this because then it it will have um, I think I think it will have a nicer look if uh, this is a different material than the regular walls on this side. So what I am going to do is to do it like this, probably something like this. No, uh, just do it like this, and then once again a little bit of randomization coming in here. Uh, that's about it. And now, now, do I want to change anything else? I don't think I want, except for that I'm already going to take an axe for world edit and, as always, replace the logs. Um, whoops. <laughs> replace the logs um, that you can see the bottom side of um, with the different kind of logs, so uh, ID 1712, where you can't see any bottom side, these lighter parts here. Okay, so let's do it for the windows as well, as always. Um, there is nothing on the other sides. Um, yep. And now the last thing I need to worry about is, are these blocks at kind of... Uh, it will look weird from the inside, but as I said in one of the previous episodes, for me it's always more important what the what the house looks like from the outside rather than focusing on the inside. So in this case, we end up with this, well, the, the, these edgy corners here. And I always like to have um, stair blocks here so that it lo looks a little bit more archway-y. Um, but in... No, no, none of the materials that we can use um, stairs with will complement the wall materials here. So I'm just going to leave it like that or I'm going to place something else later on. But first of all, I just need to fill in the floor here. I also want to have these cross beams on this floor to there. There we go. Nah, this will look weird. I'm always trying to have the, uh, the cross beams in the same distances to the uh, to the walls, so basically there are three blocks here until we have the, the cross beam, and there are two here. So I'm just gonna make it like this. But I always try and pr prevent this from happening. That there's a log, then planks, and then the next log already. But in this case, I don't really want to continue the the row of. No, this looks weird. Either way. Um. See, I don't want to place this row of logs here because this this corner will look weird. So um, I'm gonna go with something else. Just gonna do it like this, and then back here it's gonna be in the middle. It's not too important that it's uh, that's always the same distance. Most most of the time I try and and make it like that, but I'm afraid if I was to put it like this like this ah, let's just keep it let's just keep it the way it is okay uh, then the second story here the second floor will be of course Bruce what slabs and right uh, there was I was I wanted to make a room here so uh, let's just light this up here uh, but do I want to have a staircase here? I want to go for a staircase. Mm. But there's still a little space since we separated these rooms. We could make a staircase going up here to the second layer. Okay, let's let, let's try it. Let's try it. So, over here, the floor is going to be regular. Like that. And here, let's start like this. And then I want to have a staircase. Um, and since we don't have enough space to just go up like this, blah, we need to make it um, kind of spirally, so it's a kind of spiral staircase. 
And in medieval times, uh, staircases, at least uh, spiral staircases that were invented in this t these times, were always going clockwise. So clockwise, and you were starting starting from the left, and that's um, a similar way. They basically most of the most of the um, engineers kept it, um, and basically are doing the same thing nowadays, simply because it, it it's gotten a habit. Some of them, of, of course, um, well, were rebels and didn't do it. But usually, you'd go about it like this, because if you're holding your sword in your right hand, it would be easily, easy to, uh, to defend from up here. Because you, were, you would go up here and hold the sword in your right hand, so to the inside of the, of the house here, and would have, well, more difficulties to simply swing the sword against uh, t at your opponent whilst you were standing up over here and now just imagine well the the axe is the sword I can just with my right hand strike down without really having any difficulties okay but um, I think I want to close this off here this kind of bothers me not only kind of it bothers me a lot so just gonna have to make it like this a little bit higher so that you can't see the stone brick material right next to the floor here. Also, a window on the bottom here would not make too much sense, would it? Um, I think I'm gonna change this. Mm, let's have a look from the outside. Mm. Yeah, well, we did it. Th we did the same thing here. We have to cover this up afterwards. Uh, for example, with an overhanging bit or something like this. Let's just keep it like this for for now and if if I come up with something later on I'm just gonna change it again okay so then the next floor here is going to go like this and then on this side I want to have another staircase even though I can't get up like this here so I have to start it here and that's weird that's weird okay so then I'm just gonna make it here um, starting here is that okay? Is there enough space to... Yeah. Okay. I'm just always trying to place the stairs in a manner that it's not starting right here, like right here, so that you get up from here and you have this half of a block to get to the next floor and then the staircase um, continues. So, but in this case, there's eno uh, enough space. So, uh, what else? What else? Um, the next stair... I, I don't think... Okay. I don't want to have a staircase to the next floor simply because I'm going to change a little bit about the roof from the inside. Or am I? Am I? That is the question. I don't think I will. Um, usually I try to decorate the insides of the roofs. <coughs> Sorry. The insides of the roofs so that it looks a little bit uh, less cornery. So usually I'd, I'd take stairs to place it like this to have a little bit more of, of an arch feeling. But um, in this case, this floor is, well, it's, it's quite, it's quite the, the small floor we have here. And I don't want to make the room any smaller by getting rid of these in total six blocks here that I can't access, right? So I want to just use it and keep it like this. Uh, but what I what I am gonna do is to take oak slabs and put them like this, so that we have at, le at least a little bit of uh, well a, a few corners less. Then go like this, and that's that's okay. Okay, and as material for the windows, once again, um, I'm gonna take the white panes and then go down with a ladder and I think this will be the best position for a ladder so basically in order to get up to the last floor what you need to do um, is to move like here from from the back side of the building through the middle and then to the other side this is uh, I think a good, a, a good structure to go about it and then I need a window here, and I need gravel for this block. And of course, something I just realized is that it's kind of dark here. 
So I'm just gonna light this up here. That's enough. And then to close it off, whoops. I'm just gonna place down a door, and that's it so far. Should be enough. And what I was. Yeah, in the last episode I was talking about it. Um, I'm not gonna use wooden buttons once again for, for this building here. I wanna go with stone buttons because otherwise it would be stone, wood, stone, wood. And I don't wanna have this, this kind of um, predictable pattern. So I'm gonna break it off by using stone again. So, well, I'm losing the pattern with that. And I think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the, the backside here. It's not the prettiest thing, but uh, it serves its purpose. And I think if once we get rid of a few blocks here, continue the tower, grass, yeah, looks better already. Okay, this should be enough for that. And then the last thing I want to do is to add chimneys. So we need one at least for this part of the building here. And I think this corner will be pretty okay, like that. It's tall enough. And then on this side, I'm gonna go with a cobblestone chimney on this row here. And when I'm placing these, um, I'm always trying to find different rows of the building so that they're not all aligned perfectly. And I, for that reason, I might as well place this one over here one block further. Like that. Yep. Looks better already. And then I want to have one here on this side, and then that'll be it. Enough chimneys for now. And we have different kinds of chimneys here on these buildings that we already built. Um, I think this one will be a quite easy one. Uh, another another quite simple design that I'm, I'm using uh, very often. It's going to be just one stair and a slab on top, like that. And then I'm just going to take a cracked stone brick and place it down here, somewhere. Just to have a little bit of randomization once again. And here for this one, I kind of just want to finish it off like this. But it should be one block lower, so it's not on the same level, like this. For the third one, I am going to take these again. Place one, or maybe even do it like this? No. Nope. nope. But what I can do, yep, what I can do is to place a stair like that. Okay. And that should be about it. Now, I want to have a rough concept of the next building here before I end the video. Uh, so what am I going to do? Uh, we need to cover up the wall, obviously, because it looks way too way too plain. But I kind of want to have this court area here. Um, so what are we going to do? One thing we could do is simply to add something to the wall and make the building a little bit bigger on that point. But I'm afraid... Huh. I'm just going to go differently about it. I'm just gonna go with a building that starts here. Then I'm gonna have this this larger part. Like that. This is where our archway can be. And then there's gonna be another kind of towery thingy here. So basically it's gonna be a very broad house. Uh, this is this is like one of the no no not just one of the it, it's the broadest house I have or I, I'm going to build in this style. There's nothing really incomparable that I built in a similar size. But what could be nice, since, since we once again need a kind of archway to get into the courtyard, um, I'm t kind of thinking about doing it... Wait... Kind of like this? Um, I'm just not too sure if it will look good in the end. Uh, but we'll try. We will try. Maybe even like this. And then my plan was to have an overhanging part here. Like that. Like that. 
or even yeah even one more block overhanging like so and then <laughs> and then I just realized that I started me Do I want to add one more block? No. Uh, I think I think I, I even talked about it in one of the previous videos. I don't want to have uh, this this one extra block like in this building here before starting the overhang. I want to start right with it because that way, even though we are still staying on the same ground level here, the houses the houses floor sizes will once again vary. So the floors are going to start from this building here on this layer and on the next building it's gonna be one block lower and therefore it's once again going to create a little bit of well variety and I think I wanna go about it like this okay so this is the rough plan so for the next episode I'm going to finish this house here even though I kinda of wanna change something about it um, but that's one thing for the next video so basically what we can do then is to have um, for example, have it like this so that we have a very narrow part of the building going to this side here. So you can uh, you have like wings on the building. There's going to be a building part here and the same thing on the other side, two blocks wide. And um, therefore we can decorate this ugly big plain wall here. And then it's, it's, I think it's, I think it's gonna look good in the end. Okay, so uh, that should be about it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do hope you like the series so far. And well, in the next episode, we will continue building this new house with the courtyard area. So with that, there is nothing left to say for me, I guess. But I've been Madness64. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, become a mate today. Do you will. I hope you see you next time. Bye bye.